U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo are visiting India to hold strategic talks on military and trade deals. The BBC's Vikas Pandey explains what's at stake. The meetings between the U.S. officials and their counterparts Nirmala Sitharaman and Sushma Swaraj, described as the 2 plus 2 dialogue, are taking place against a backdrop of recent strains between Washington and Delhi. Meetings were first scheduled in April, but had to be rescheduled after U.S. President Donald Trump fired his then Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. The dialogue was suspended once again in July for what India's foreign ministry described as unavoidable reasons. Much has changed between the two strategic allies in recent months. New World Order The U.S. has objected to new defense deals between India and Russia, and has also warned Delhi against importing crude oil from Iran. Both Moscow and Tehran are currently under U.S. sanctions. Mr. Trump's reported mocking of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's accent hasn't gone down well with Indian diplomats. And the unpredictable nature of the Trump administration has also made India's diplomats cautious. Washington and Delhi mostly enjoyed warm relations during former U.S. Presidents George Bush and Barack Obama's stints at the White House. But it's too soon to say the same about the Trump administration. Pratyush Rao, Associate Director for India and South Asia at Control Risks Consultancy, said India needs to adopt cautious optimism in the talks. For India, which won a number of special favours under the Bush and Obama administrations, notably the civil nuclear deal and waivers on its oil trade with Iran, the real challenge will be how it now copes with the highly transactional nature of the Trump presidency, he told the BBC. It's true that Mr. Modi invested a lot of time and energy in India-US ties. He has said on many occasions that Mr. Obama was his friend, and he liked working with him. But the world diplomatic order has changed. The new U.S. administration has shown that it can take unpredictable decisions, like Mr. Trump's summit with North Korea's leader or deciding to walk out from the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement, and withdraw from a nuclear agreement with Iran. Indian diplomats will have these surprising decisions in mind when they negotiate deals with the U.S., Mr. Rao says. Defense Dilemma India, which makes very few of its own weapons, is the world's biggest defense buyer, and Russia supplies most of its military equipment and spare parts. The U.S. wants to change the dynamics. It has increased its arms exports to India more than five times in the past five years, taking its share in Delhi defense procurement to 15%. In comparison, Russia's share has fallen from 79% to 62% over the past five years, according to a study by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Washington has traditionally not objected to India buying defense equipment from Russia. The U.S. has long believed that India needs to be strong militarily to counter China in the region, even if it comes at the cost of Delhi buying arms from Russia, says Mr. Rao. But the relationship has become more complicated under the Trump administration. India is in the process of acquiring S-400 air defense missiles from Russia. Delhi was expecting Washington to grant a waiver to India to go ahead with the deal. However, a top U.S. official recently said a waiver was not guaranteed, and Washington was opposed to Delhi signing new deals with Russian firms hit by U.S. sanctions. I can't sit here and tell you that they in 